Congratulations on the beginning of trading. It's been a long road. I have to ask you though, you. the IPO price was about 50% of the last privately valued round. So to go public, you effectively had to cut the valuation of your company in half. How does that sit with you? You know, anytime you raise capital for a business, there's an interesting moment in time that's a mark to market. But for us, as one of the founders of the business, we continue to be very excited about our long-term journey. And that's really going to be our, our continued focus, how to build the world's first sleep brand, how to help people get the best night of sleep possible through innovative products like our mattresses, our pillows, and many others. And that's what we're going to continue to stay very determined and focused around. Now, what is your moat? Because especially in recent years, since you started, many, many other mattress in a box and other types of mattress delivery companies have sprung up. Uh, you know, from Tufts and Needle to, to so many more, there are more than 150, it would appear now, in the US. What differentiates Casper? You know, it's a great question, and really three things come to mind. To me, our brand is something that's very unique and very special to us. It's resonated with consumers in a remarkable way. And that brand is built on the trust that we're creating with consumers about helping them get the best night of sleep. So we think Casper's brand stands alone. And building that trust comes because people know that the Casper products are the best products in the market. The reason why our mattress is the number one rated mattress on Consumer Reports, the reason why our Glow Light won Time's Invention of the Year is because we have an amazing team of folks in San Francisco that we call Casper Labs that are designing and engineering products that truly help elevate your sleep quality. And I would say the third thing that, that really differentiates us is our go-to-market strategy. We have multiple touch points for consumers. They can shop us online through Casper.com. They can go into one of our 60 owned and operated retail stores, or they could shop us with our great retail partnerships with folks like Target, Costco, and others. And so we, we think that the combination of those three factors drives us to have a very differentiated approach to what we're building. Philip, why go, pri why go public? Why not stay private? Um, why not become part of a bigger group? Like you talk about Target there. What other options were there out there and why did you choose this one? We're excited to be a public company. I think we'll do very well in the public markets. We're going after large markets that have been absent of any real innovation. And that's key to Casper. We're innovating on the products that we have. We're innovating on the experiences that we have in market. And that's a very differentiated approach to what we're building over time. And for us, the, given that these are huge markets, you know, consumers in the US alone spend 17 to $18 billion on mattresses. We're going to continue to take market share in these markets and build the global sleep brand. What's the difference between a mattress company and a sleep company? It's a great question. We think holistically about sleep. The sleep economy has largely been very disorganized from a consumer standpoint. And yet consumers are asking themselves more and more about how do I get a better night of sleep? Casper thinks about end to end the products that can help improve your sleep. And we think organizing that sleep economy for consumers is a unique part of our value proposition and something that's resonated with consumers. Our pillows are great products. They can help you get a better night of sleep. I mentioned the Glow Light. That's our first technology product that helps you get a better night of sleep. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking holistically about how we can help the world sleep better. Now, in your filing, in your prospectus, you have uh, 450 million or so of marketing costs, and obviously that's a, a spend that many new disruptors do in order to sort of collect customers and hopefully keep them, and that's the value to the company, right? What will keep customers with Casper beyond, you know, you saying that it's a better company and so on? We know that on certain products, customers don't have that kind of loyalty, especially if their loyalty is being bought by another company. What do you say to critics that say, your customer base is just not sustainable? You know, sleep products are highly considered purchases. You're spending a third of your life dedicated to sleep. And so we actually think that having a brand where people get that experience of having the best night of sleep possible is a, a really sticky proposition for us. We're seeing consumers come back very frequently to buy from Casper. They're outfitting their whole home with Casper products. And that's because they had a great experience. The brand delivered a great night of sleep. And our products are, there's a multitude of ways to improve your sleep across our product portfolio. And that's very unique. And so we think that we've seen customers come back to us very quickly and that will continue to accelerate as we bring more products to market. You also mention in your paperwork the market in hotels, airplanes even. Ha have you secured any clients in those bases yet or when do you plan to go after them? Yes, we're very proud of the fact that American Airlines chose Casper to be their official sleep product partner. 
which is amazing given the largest airline in the, the country choosing Casper. And they saw the quality of products that we bring. They saw that wellness is a focus of their flyers and that sleep was critical while you travel. And so if you fly on American Airlines, you can see Casper products that help you get the best night of sleep possible while traveling. And so that's one example of uh, more established companies looking to Casper to help them improve their value proposition when it comes to getting the best night of sleep or nap possible.